on guys. <laughs> we are going to Zimbabwe. <laughs> I love you. Even when you have to live in the real life, I don't know. Going to Zimbabwe. It's my first time going to Zimbabwe. Quite good with the accommodation for the first night. Morning guys, so we had an amazing, amazing night here at Chigulu Lodge. We had an eight sleeper house, it's massive. There's a big kitchen, big fridges, a pool we didn't use. But we had a nice fire, we had nice food, we had great company. And we're very excited to kick off this morning. We're gonna maybe stop by the confluence area in Mapungubwe just to see the view because we are here right now. And then after that, we are going to make our way to the border and enter Zim. And we cannot wait. The trip is about to really start.
made some nice coffee already cracked a few jokes this morning but yeah we're ready to leave daryl's filling up his tanks with water and then we're gonna make our way to the eastern side of Mapungubwe. Now we're going. Finally. Eastern section of Mapungubwe. We're gonna quickly take the what is it? The I can't remember the name. Give me a second. The name is not on here. What was it then? Something uh, dumb. Yes, dumb. Near. Double dumb. We're gonna take the double dumb 4x4 route on the way to the confluence area and we're gonna make breakfast there at the at the picnic spot at the confluence area. So we had a quick breakfast at the confluence viewpoint at Mapungubwe and it looks like there's, I don't know, if there's some big bike race to a Detuli or something like that that's happening so they set up accommodation and tents and stuff over there so it took away a bit of the scenery but the confluence viewing area is always nice and now we're very excited to enter into Zim so we're leaving the park now headed to Whitebridge and we're gonna stop at Messina to fill up we're gonna stop at Messina to just fill up the jerry cans and get the last few supplies I just thought I'd tell you guys if you do come to Mapungubwe and you're not gonna camp I highly recommend the Chigulu Lodge um, what do you think? It was a freaking crazy place. Yeah, no, it's really super, super amazing. Um, and the pool, the pool is beautiful. Yeah, no, you could spend a good number of days there and you'll have a nice prize in the evening. The pool is amazing. Sure. It's nice for a big group. Yeah, especially for a group. That's why we booked yeah. it because there's a eight sleeper and a four sleeper. 
so we booked the eight sleeper for last night and yeah that was a perfect decision and the perfect start to the trip <laughs> Lief, daar is een movie suspend ik op in hierdie vraag. Sien jou, in die, in die binnenkant, so oh. so'n groot wit suspend ik op. Oh. In die eerste glee. Oh, ek sien. Hier sê, hier sê, hier sê. Dit is een movie suspend ik op. Hier klim my in die kar. Oh. Hier in die deur. Hier sê nou in die deur hier. Waar zijn ze? Ja. Wat denk jij? Eh, boosje spinnako. <laughs> All right, guys, we passed the South African side of the um, border into Zim. We're on the Zim side now, so we've won half of the battle. Other half to go, and then it's holiday with no more anxiety, no more stress. I can't wait. It is 3:13. We are in Zimbabwe. Bait Bridge is still Bait Bridge. It looks different. It operates just as slow. We are probably not gonna make the Gonorizo campsite tonight, but it's all part of the adventure. That's what they say. No, but we really are. It's my first time in Zim. I'm quite excited. Now I'm also excited, but I just that border post is horrible. Like it was really, it wasn't full. Oh, I don't know what's happening here. Um. It really wasn't busy um, with the amount of vehicles and people there were. Like, really not busy. But it still took us... Over two hours. But just on the Zim side. Yeah. Yeah. Just on the Zim side, like two and a half hours to get through. So... Yeah. But hey. Fresh faces. Fresh... Fresh start. We are in Zim. We are excited. And... Guys, Zimbabwe is already amazing. It's stolen my heart. Yeah. Yeah. No, the people here are super friendly. You just need to get past that border. It's 10 past 4. I don't know if we are going to make the gate in time. Um, but if we don't, then we'll wild camp for the night. We're a nice big group of people, so I think it'll still feel safe for everybody. But yeah, so far, Zimbabwe is not disappointing. The scenery is beautiful. You already feel like you are in one of the most remote places in Africa. 
But yeah, we'll check in with you guys when we're at our next stop. There's a 4x4 route about 50 k's from where we are now, so we're going to push on. Okay guys, so we have managed to find a campsite. we in a dry riverbed. We drove up from the road about... I don't know 60 50 60 70 meters but yeah we are secluded we're away from the road I think it's gonna be a very very cool um, night spent wild camping but here's the other people <laughs> Hey, big guy. Hey. Don't